closed captioning is brought to you by Insect Defend Patch, deep free protection from biting insects. You know, I learned a long time ago, even when you fish for large panfish and you're using light line, like two and four pound test from a boat or from shore, it's a really good idea to use a landing net, even if you plan on keeping the fish. Because if you get a perch on from 11 to 15 inches, or a crappie in that size range. With light line, if you try to bring the fish into the boat or on shore, a lot of times something can break, like the line or your rod. So what I like to use is a small, this is called a live release basket net, and it's made by Lucky Strike. And you can see that it doesn't have a very large circumference, but it's ideal for smaller game fish, smaller trout, and especially for large panfish. This particular one has an expandable handle, so it goes out to five feet. And you can see that it also has the rubber coated mesh. And it's a very fine mesh so that um, even small fish won't go through. You could probably use it to catch some of the larger minnows if you wanted to. But it's ideal and very lightweight if you're fishing for large pan fish. That way, even a big fish won't break your line. You know, one of the other things that I'll use when you're on a school of perch like this is a small streamer. And you can see this one here. This is a streamer that looks like a bait fish. It's actually the same streamers that we use for trout fishing. And I have it set up on a drop shot rig. Okay, and I'll explain that to you. It's kind of like a pickerel rig. So let me just get this fish on the stringer. And then I'll explain to you. You know what? Our stringer is starting to get built up very nicely here. Look at this. <clears throat> you know, for being out here, it's raining. And we've been out here maybe for about an hour and a half. This isn't bad. So I'm keeping count of them. Okay, I need one more on that. You know what? These are gonna taste great. And they're very plentiful. So yeah, a drop shot rig is very simple. All I've got is a sinker on the bottom, and in this case, it's a bell sinker. Then I'm gonna run it by, see about um, eight or 10 inches up, I have my streamer on a tippet line, and I'm gonna show you how to tie that tippet so that you can make your own pickerel rigs. And again, I'm just dropping it down. So look, I'll, I've got it here just below the surface so that you can see it. If I just move it up and down very lightly, you can see the way that fly is swimming. It looks like a bait fish with the weight down below. So all I'm gonna do is drop it straight down in this current until it hits the bottom. Okay, so I've hit the bottom there, about 18 feet. And I'm gonna just literally touch the bottom, shake it. So bouncing the bottom, lifting up a little bit. Now, I just wanted to take a minute to show you how to put a tippet in your line. When I say a tippet, for those of you that use a drop shot rig, a lot of times you tie your hook directly to your line, and then some of you buy the pickerel rigs, like the ones you can buy in the store. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make a tippet, even more than one in your line. So we're gonna pretend that this is my fishing line. It's quarter inch rope, and we're gonna pretend that this side, left hand here, is stuck to the fishing rod. This is the end where I'm gonna put my weight. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a big loop, okay? It's just a straight loop. The bigger you make this loop, the farther the tippet is going to be built away from the main line. So look, what I'm doing now is taking my tag end of the line and I'm doing two or three wraps. I'll just do a couple because this is tough stuff to work with. So you see I got my loop here. I just wrapped the line two or three times right there. I'm going to stick my finger in the middle and I'm going to do another two loops. One two okay so i've got my main loop i've got a couple of wraps here a couple of wraps there and i've got a whole look if i take my main loop i'm going to use my mouth here and i hold it and i pull it tight see what happens i don't want to pull this too tight because then i can't get it undone but i've got a tippet here that's made out of a double line so this is where my hook would go, and that's exactly what I've got set up for my homemade pickerel rig, if you will. So down here, I tie my weight on, and then to put my hook on here, or my fly, or whatever I want to use, all I do is pinch that loop together, take the eye, put it in, uh, in the eye, and then just flip the loop over the hook, and that literally holds it on there. So this is very smart. In salt water, they make snapper rigs. Well, they have four or five of these tippets up the line. So you can do it once or twice, okay? So hopefully you'll be able to do that. And then even for those of you that bass fish, if you do this for a drop shot rig, it works really well because it keeps the hook and whatever plastic you're using away from the main line. So when you're moving your weight up and down, the fish comes up and just inhales it. There's no resistance. Canadian Sport Fishing, brought to you in part by Suffix, the world's most hardcore fishing line.
Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. Sale, the Outdoors Superstore. Lucky Strike. All you need is a Lucky Strike. You know what? What a nice surprise. Look at this. You know what this is? This is a gem because um, you don't catch too many of them. This isn't a silver bass. This is actually a white perch. And the reason it's a white perch, see how it's got almost a goldy color? There's no stripes. A silver bass will be silver with black lines. You see it has a little bit of blue under the mouth. So this is kind of nice because he's kind of related to the yellow perch. This guy's a white perch. Let me put him on the stringer and then you'll see the difference with the yellow perch. He doesn't have the bars, but he's also very good eating.